value that the provincial government gains by participating in this initiative is that we can't do it on our own. We need to work with the various representatives from their sectors and jurisdictions in order to address phosphorus loadings now and into the future. We work with partners that, that are involved on the ground in various parts of the basin that we as a provincial organization might not be able to do ourselves. So uh, the partnership gives us a window of opportunity whereby we can work with, with many other uh, very talented agencies and individuals to implement change on the ground uh, within the basin here. Implementation is extremely important. We need to take the plan as it's currently written and do the utmost that we can to move it from a paper document to actions on the ground so that we can actually make a difference. Our organization will contribute to the strategies and actions of the plan uh, by, by being a, a catalyst with the others in, in, in implementing. We have uh, scientists, we have planners, we have engineers, we have groundwater specialists, and, and all of us, you know, the, the, the provincial government is a large organization. Alberta Environment and Parks is a large, large organization. So we have a lot of talent and a lot of specialties that, that we can bring to the partnership. And also, we, we do a lot of monitoring. And that monitoring, the, the, the data that we collect, is, is uh, stored safely within a government a database. And it's available to all people at all times. Any member of the public can ask us for that data. Thanks to the Lake Winnipeg Basin Stewardship Fund, we have a pilot project looking at floating treatment wetlands. So we're, we're partnered with the University of Calgary, and they have a master's student who's currently working on testing the viability of these floating treatment wetlands in lagoons use, uses in Alberta. One of the challenges of managing phosphorus is it's very hard to measure exactly where all the phosphorus is coming from. Ideally, we will want to know, here's 100% of the pie, what percent of that is coming from a wastewater treatment plant versus what percent of that is coming from overland runoff. So point sources, such as wastewater treatment plants, where you have a pipe, it's going out, that's, very, that's relatively easy to measure. However, when it's overland runoff, let's say there's fertilizer on a field, a rain comes along and washes that into the river, that's very difficult to measure. So without knowing 100% of what exactly is coming in and how much of that is coming in and where is that coming in. It's very hard to, for us to make perfect management plans. However, we do have enough information and we do have a lot of additional information that can help us to make the best management plans that we can. Some of the opportunities of this partnership are simply that. We are in a partnership and so we're working a lot with different, uh, with, with different people, with different agencies. And by being involved in that, we get to collaborate with, with really good people. There are excellent scientists uh, with, within, for example, the city of Calgary. We get to work with them. We get to work with, with, with federal scientists. We get to work with uh, other provincial agencies. We get to work with some really, really good uh, non-government uh, organizations, people from Totten Limited, people from the Alberta Low Impact uh, Development uh, Partnership. And so, uh, again, because we've, we have this partnership, it allows us uh, we have uh, the individuals identified uh, and, and willing uh, to work with us over the long run to implement the plan.